What if the Central Powers won World War I? World War I is a huge military conflict from 1914 with the Austrian declaration of war on Serbia until 1918 with the surrender of Germany. The Entente under UK, USA, France, Italy and Japan would end up winning while the Central Powers under Germany, Austria-Hungary, the Ottoman Empire and Bulgaria would lose. But what if that didn't happen? What if the Central Powers won World War I? In this timeline Theobald von Bethmann Holweg manages to convince Wilhelm II not to resume unrestricted submarine warfare in early 1917. With that any threat of the US joining the war is gone and Germany thus doesn't send the Zimmermann telegram. By the end of the year the Bolsheviks take over Russia and sue for peace. In the Treaty of brest litovsk they lose a bunch of land in the West thanks to Ukraine the Central Powers can now feed their population who were blockaded by the UK for almost four years. In summer 1918 Germany launches an offensive with the aim being Paris. The French army disintegrates and German forces besiege Paris. The French army already facing a lack of moral and mutinies is now falling apart and social unrest begins to take shape. Fearing total collapse France seeks for peace. The truce is signed in Paris. Belgium also sees no hope anymore and surrenders. In summer Austria-Hungary launches an offensive into Lombardy and Tuscany. They cut of the Italians in Piedmont and push the Italians to the Arno and Rubicon River. An armistice is signed in Florence. In September Greece falls to a combined Bulgar-Austro-German offensive as France and UK had to pull of their forces. At this point only the United Kingdom, Japan and Portugal were left fighting but hope was lost and they seeked an armistice. UK and Portugal signed the Armistice of Ghent in November 9th and Japan in Tsingtao two days later finally bringing an end to the war. The first treaty is signed in Versailles on January 17, 1919 with France, Belgium and Luxembourg on one side and Germany on the other. The Grand Duchy of Luxembourg becomes a member state of the German Empire. All Belgian and French lands east and south of the Moss and Mosul River are annexed by Germany. These lands are carved up between Luxembourg and Alsace-Lorraine. Moreover Belgium loses the Congo to Germany and becomes a German puppet state under Prince Adalbert of Prussia as Albert II. As a compensation Belgium gains Calais. France has to give Germany Morocco Dahomey Upper Volta Ubangi Shari Congo Gabon Djibouti Madagascar Indochina Puang Chuan and New Caledonia. The Ottoman Empire regains Tunisia. France also has to pay at least 10 billion Reichsmark to pay of its veteran funds and existing debt and has to dismantle its forts at the German border. Italy, Austria-Hungary Germany and the Ottoman Empire sign the Treaty of Milan on April 26. Lombardy-Venetia becomes an Austrian puppet state and buffer state against Italy. Germany takes the Italian concession in Tianjin. The Ottoman Empire regains the Deccans, Tripoltna, and Cyrenaica. The Dervish get Italian Somaliland on which they form the Sultanate of Somalia. After their leader Mohammed Abdullah Hassan died in 1920 the Somalis elect his father-in-law Muhammad Ali Shire of the Warsanjali tribe to be his successor. Meanwhile Italian Eritrea is given to the neutral Ethiopian Empire. On June 28, 1919, five years after the death of Franz Ferdinand, Serbia, Montenegro, Romania and Greece have to sign the Treaty of Belgrade. Austria-Hungary annexes Montenegro and Carpathian border lands from Romania with Romania and Serbia becoming Austrian vassal states. Bulgaria annexes two-thirds of Serbia and Macedonia. The Ottoman Empire annexes most Greek Asian islands including Crete. The United Kingdom, Portugal and Empire of Japan make no territories loses, but have to return all territories from the central powers which they were occupying during the war. By the end of the year the Ottomans have crushed the Arab revolt. Hejaz was re-annexed by the Ottoman Empire with Hussein ibn Ali and his family fleeing to Cairo. Since the Saudis joined the war against them the Ottomans helped the Rashidis to conquer Riyadh. Surinaka Tripultna and Tunisia become the Emirate of Tripultna which is an Ottoman vassal state led by Idris I. Though officially an Ottoman vassal state this country run by the Senesi order is effectively independent. The Ottomans would tragically continue their genocide of the Armenians with the only survivors being those who fleet into Persia or Russia. 
Armenia becomes integrated into Azerbaijan which is an Ottoman vassal state. In 1919 German, Austro-Hungarian and Ottoman forces invade Soviet Russia as they fear a communist neighbor. They put quickly into Soviet land and take Moscow. The whites and central powers sign the Treaty of Moscow. Russia has to recognize German and Ottoman puppet states in Eastern Europe, namely the Kingdom of Finland under Frederick Karl W. I, Grand Duchy of Livonia under Adolf Friedrich I which is an integrated Bundesland of Germany, Kingdom of Lithuania under Mindaugas II, Kingdom of Poland under Friedrich Christian I, Kingdom of Belarus under Derony Frederick, Hethmanate of Ukraine under Pavla Skoropatsky, Grand Duchy of Crimea under Oscar I, Kingdom of Georgia under George XIII and Khanate of Azerbaijan under Osman Frog while they withdraw from other Russian lands. But unfortunately for the Ottomans Georgia would fall under the sphere of influence of Germany. Inver Pasha decided to militarily aid the Turkic rebels in Central Asia, but he was killed during this campaign. The enemies of the three Pashas smell blood and in 1923, ten years after they overthrew the government, they were ousted in a coup and tormented by Sultan Mehmet VI and Mustafa Kemal Pasha. Ahmed Jemal Pasha flees to Georgia and Mehmet Talat Pasha to Germany. Both would be killed by Armenians as part of Operation Nemesis. But the fact Germany granted them asylum further destroys ties between Germany and the Ottoman Empire. A new constitution is signed. The Grand Vizier is an elected position for four years and the General Assembly gains more political power. In the first general election Mustafa Kemal Pasha and his Social Democratic Ottoman People's Party defeats the Conservative Committee of Union and Progress under Ahmed Izzet Pasha and Freedom and Accords Party under Damit Firid Pasha. The Ottomans would distance themselves from nationalistic policies and return to their pan-Muslim roots to satisfy the Arabs. But in the interwar period its friendship with Germany re-emerged as the Ottomans fear a revanchous Russia and imperialist United Kingdom. Germany invests heavily into the Ottoman Empire and in exchange gets cheap oil from the Ottomans busting its growing economy. The Baghdad railway stretching from Basra to Hamburg would be built throughout the interwar period giving Ottomans and Bulgarians many jobs. Ever since 1919 Austrian and Hungarian politicians negotiate a potential federalization of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. In 1920 negotiations collapse and Hungary declares independence. The Austro-Hungarian War was a short one as Croatians, Romanians, Slovaks and Serbs rise up against their Hungarian overlord leading to its collapse. In 1921 the United States of Greater Austria is formed with Charles I being its first emperor. But he would only rule for another year as on April 1, 1922 a Hungarian nationalist assassinated him. His 10-year-old son is crowned as Otto I but with a regency led by his mother Zita von Bourbon Parma in charge. Liberals use the opportunity and strip him of most of his power. Meanwhile Bulgaria is the great power of the Balkans, but is scared of the Ottoman Empire. They are still led by Ferdinand I and are a constitutional monarchy and likely face no military junta. In France the government is scared of the communists and so chooses to make Charles Moraes a far-right politician prime minister in 1919 hoping he would destroy the communists, but he also destroyed the republic by making Philip, Duke of Orleans king as Philip VIII. The power however lays in the hands of Charles Moraes, who is a fascist dictator. In 1922 Mussolini becomes Il Duce of Italy and both fascist and monarchist dictators sign the Paris-Rome axis. In 1918 Bonar Law still becomes Prime Minister, but with a huge landslide as David Lloyd George is blamed for the defeat in World War I. Fearing to lose its empire UK is going harder against any disobedient, but this would culminate in the 1920 when Mahatma Gandhi started the non-cooperation movement, and was shot down by British forces. This led to a full-scale Indian revolt with the Republic of India declaring war on the British. Burma declares independence and the British are pushed to the south things were looking bad but then the Indians split with the Republican movement under Chitaranjan Das in Calcutta, and the Home Rule movement under Jawaharlal Nehru in Delhi. Things however would get more complicated when the communists under Madame Baikaji Kama overthrew the government in Calcutta on early 1921 and established a communist regime. The Dominion forces also had to fight another foe as Pakistan declared independence. The British and Home Rule forces realized they could lose the war to the communists, 
and thus finally came to an agreement in Bombay. India would be able to manage its own interior policy and was self-governing and could form its own military, but London managed its foreign policy and George V is still its emperor. Together they would take down Pakistan with Afghanistan annexing Pashtunistan, and then they would defeat the Indian People's Republic on February 4, 1922 after taking back Calcutta. By the end of the year they dealt with communists' remnants and Burma. UK also had to make peace with Ireland which was heavily supported by Germany. They have to grant the entire island independence. But Germany did manage to convince them to make Joachim of Prussia their king. In 1922 J.R. Kleins wins the British general election by a landslide as Bonar Law is just as much hated as David Lloyd George. In 1935 the British Union of Fascists wins the general election, and Oswald Mosley becomes Prime Minister of UK, but would turn himself dictator. In Russian Alexander Kolchak steps down as supreme ruler of Russia with Alexander Kerensky becoming the first president of the Russian Republic, but in 1932 Konstantin Rodzivsky and his Russian fascist party would win the Russian general election, and he would turn the Russian Republic into the Russian Imperia and make himself Vazhd. Grand Duke Kirill Vladimirovich would state of December 15, 1937. They are the men alone, without family, without children, without God. He builds lands, but he doesn't build a nation. A nation is created by families, a religion traditionally it is made up out of the hearts of mothers, the wisdom of fathers, the ye and the exuberance of children. Of Russia under Rodzivsky he says, An also alone state, disdainful of human dignities and the ancient structure of our race sets itself up in place of everything else and the man who alone incorporates in himself this whole state, has neither a god so now nor a dynasty to conserve nor a past to conserve. He would also refuse a state funeral for he died less than a year later. Nonetheless Russia, UK France, Italy and Japan signed the anti-Germany alliance. In Portugal too fascism rises under Antonio de Salazar. In 1921 von Bethmann Holwe dies and Paul von Hindenburg becomes new Reichskanzler. He seeks to expand German influence around the world and starts with China. Zilli Click already owns Beijing and is anti-foreigner. Fengshan Click Japanese lapdog. And Hui Click already collapsed once. Xinjiang, Ma, Shanxi Yunnan and Sichuan landlocked and so can't really help. Guangxi at war with Guangdong. Guangdong best option. They are nationalist and have democratic institutions like Germany and Sun Yat-sen is popular with the Chinese people. Moreover besides Guangdong Yunnan which controls Gizhou is also part of the Kuomintang. In 1921 Admiral Alfred Meyer Waldeck meets with Sun Yat-sen to formalize an alliance. Germany helps to train Chinese troops and sends some of its own. Together they defeat Guangxi the very same year. In 1922 the Northern Expeditan is launched, and the Zilli Click stands no chance. In this chaos the Ma and Guomenjun and Shanxi plagued their loyalty to Sun Yat-sen and the Fengshan Click also joins. The Fengshan Click annexes the Zilli and Shangdong province, while the rest goes to the Kuomintang. In early 1924 the Manchurian Expeditan starts between Sun Yat-sen and Zhang Zaolin. But this war is a proxy war between Germany and Japan. The forces under Zhang were getting defeated and Beijing falls. The Japanese army still murders Zhang Zaolin and his son Zhang Zhuolaiing sides with the Kuomintang but loses Shangdong and Zili to them. On January 1, 1925 the first presidential election of the Republic of China is held with Sun Yat-sen being elected as president with a landslide but by the end of the year he is in hospital and his vice president Zhang Renji has to run the country. In March 12, Sun Yat-sen dies after reuniting China. After his death the KMT splits into the left KMT under Wang Jinhui and later Song Qingling and right KMT under Hu Hanmin and later Lin Sen and Zhu Zheng. In the 1929 election Zhang Rianji wins again, but in 1933 Wang Jinhui of the LKMT becomes president. Germany is meanwhile a fastly growing economy, and eclipses the United Kingdom. With a much stronger economy they start a second naval arms race with the United Kingdom from 1922 to 1929 that ended because of the Great Depression. 
But by the end of it the Kaiserliche Navy is just as strong as the Royal Navy. The German army is also Europe's strongest and has some of the finest tanks like the Sturmpanzer Wagen Falls and Paul von Leto Vorbeck is tasks to achieve the same in Africa. The Luftstreite craft under General Feldmarschall Manfred von Richthofen dominates the sky. Germany forms Middle Europa which is an economic bloc dominated by Germany itself, so basically the European Union. Its founding members are Germany, its puppet states, Austria, their puppet states, Netherlands and Denmark. Norway and Sweden hold a refer with Sweden joining and Norway not joining. Mussolini cancelled Italy's own referendum. The Pallavi dynasty wouldn't rise as without British help the 1921 coup all fail and the Qajars stay in power. In Japan following its defeat in World War I and Manchuria militarism rises, and after the Great Kanto earthquake the military overthrows the government. Democracy is over and Taisha is forced to abdicate. He dies shortly later. His son Showa or better known as Hirohito becomes emperor but holds no political power as now the military is in charge. In the Great Depression Hindenburg had to abdicate due to a revolution in Berlin. Wilhelm agreed to a constitution. The Reichskanzler is now elected for seven years, and he can't dissolve the Reichstag anymore. However, he still has a lot of political power left. The first elected president is Otto Wells from 1931 to 1938. Germany leaves the Great Depression as a shining democracy. Following the Great Depression the Axis powers rearms themselves and Germany invests heavily in its military once again. A second world war is on the horizon. In 1936 the Spanish Civil War breaks out. It did initially look like Germany will support the nationalists but with France, Italy, the British Empire and Portugal supporting the nationalists Germany aids the Republicans. Plus both Germany and Spain have a social democratic government. Meanwhile in Paris Charles Maurras is scared of a German victory in Spain, and so in February 1937 orders French forces to invade Republican-held territories in the north. The Republicans are pushed to the south and it looks like they will lose, but then Germany sent an ultimatum to France to either withdraw from Spain, and stop supporting the nationalists or face war. France chose the latter. Its fellow Axis members also join the war on their side, while the Central Powers join the war on the side of Germany. But the Republicans are still pushed out of Iberia, but Germany retook their colonies in Africa, meaning they flee to Tanger. Unlike the last war Germany first focuses on Russia and launches Operation Barbarossa led by Erich von Ludendorff. Finnish forces cut of Russia from the Kola Peninsula and pushed to the Nua River. Shortly later German forces reached the left bank of the river besieging Petrograd. In the south Ukrainian and Austrian forces push Russia quickly to the Don River. They then cross the river and push to leg in cutting of the Caucasus from Russia. Pyotr Krasnov who also has to fight the Ottomans and Georgia surrenders his forces. The main attack however was in the center consisting of Belarusian, Polish, Lithuanian and German forces. Since they own Russian lands all the way to Smolensk the invasion is much easier. They push Russia to Moscow by summer. In this timeline German forces defeat the Russians at the Battle of Moscow. Konstantin and his forces retreat to Nishi Novgorod. But the fall of Moscow led to an all-out independence war by Turkic people in Central Asia. After the battle Ludendorff moves back to Germany because of health issues and gives control over the army to Wilhelm von Lieb. Germany then launches a massive offensive in which Russia is pushed to the Volga River. Finland also takes Karelia. Konstantin Rodzivsky had to flee to Kazan but there he got assassinated and Russia was then led by a military council led by Alexander Kolchak. They sued for peace. As an armistice is signed in Rodzivsky Grad, Ludendorff dies of old age. Meanwhile, Austrian forces defeated the Italians who were attempting an invasion. Austrian forces push into Tuscany and Romagna. Italian politicians oust Mussolini and begin peace talks. Both France and Britain set up a puppet regime. The French form the Italian Social Republic under Benito Mussolini in Turin, and the B forms the Italian Empire under Ferdinand Puss. Greece joined the war enthusiastically in hopes of regaining Macedonia, but was crushed by Bulgaria and the Ottoman Empire. 
after the fall of Russia Germany is now able to move all of its force to the west. France was still attempting to take over the Ruhr Valley to push Germany out of the Rhineland and deny them the industry and coal mines there. France also brought the Netherlands into the war by taking their Rhineland. Germany launches an offensive in 1938 and pushes France out of Germany. They then encircle the Axis in Dunkirk. France collapses and German forces invade Spain which was still weakened. Franco's regime collapses and Germany besieges Gibraltar and occupies Portugal. Austrian forces take down the ISR and push the Italian Empire out of the mainland into Sicily and Sardinia. On July 25, 1938 Germany launches Operation Sea Lion. They successfully land in the British Isles and take them over. Mosley flees to Canada where he got ousted. The British government under Neville Chamberlain sues for peace. Now only Japan is left. They were fighting China and took over Manchuria and Shandong, but now with German forces on their way Japan is pushed out of China and Korea. In February 1939 Japan surrenders ending the war. In the Treaty of Moscow the Khanate of Turkestan becomes independent under Sayyid Mir Mohammed Ali Khan. Germany establishes the Don Kingdom under Prince August Wilhelm of Prussia and Tsardom of Russia under Vladimir III west of the Volga River. Finland annexes Karelia and Kola. China re-annexes Outer Manchuria, Mongolia and parts of Central Asia. France was forced to sign the Treaty of Verdun. Belgium and Germany take some border lands from France, while Italy gets Nice and Savoy. Mainland France was divided into the Kingdom of France under Alfonso XIII of Spain as Alphonse I and Kingdom of Occitania under Louis II. Germany also takes Senegal, Guinea and Côte d'Ivoire. Mauritania, Mali, Niger and Chad unite into the Sahel Federation under Siddiq Abubakar III while the Netherlands take Guyana and Spain takes Rousselon. The French Fourth Republic only controls Algeria and Corsica with the former gaining independence soon later. Brittany is under occupation by the Imperial German Army. In the Treaty of Rome, Italy is dissolved. The Papal State becomes independent while the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies under Ferdinando III, Grand Duchy of Tuscany under Ferdinando V and Grand Duchy of Medina under Roberto I become Austrian puppet states. The House of Savoy get to rule over Piedmont Sardinia. In the Treaty of Barcelona Spain annexes Portugal, the Dutch take East Timor and Germany takes Guinea, Angola and northern Mozambique. Spain and Germany also agree for Germany to buy Spanish colonies as they are devastated by war and broke. The British have to sign the Treaty of London. The Kingdom of England led by Charles III, Grand Duchy of Wales led by George THR VII and Kingdom of Scotland led by Robert IV become German puppet states with Cornwall being controlled by the Imperial German Navy. Germany annexes the Isle of Man and Malta and also takes the Falkland Islands, Gambia, Sierra Leone, Ghana, Nigeria, Uganda, Kenya, Zambia, Malawi, Burma, Malaya, Hong Kong, Wiawe, Samoa, Vanuatu and Papua. The Ottoman Empire annexes Cyprus, Kuwait, Qatar and Bahrain and puppets the Kativate of Egypt and Sultanate of Muscat. Spain annexes Gibraltar, Somalia annexes Somaliland, Afghanistan takes Balochistan, and the Netherlands annex Guyana and the West Indies. South Africa, Lesotho, Eswatini, Botswana, Zimbabwe and southern Mozambique unite into the Republic of South Africa which is a German puppet state. Pakistan gains independence and China puppets the Nawab of Bengal, princely state of Hyderabad, Kingdom of Nepal, Republic of Ceylon and Republic of Maldives. The Republic of India is formed. Australia, New Zealand and Fiji unite into Australasia. Quebec gains independence and the neutral US were given Newfoundland, Prince Edward Island, New Brunswick, and Nova Scotia with the latter three being united as one state. Only Canada and Australasia are ruled by the British Crown. In the Treaty of Tianjin Japan loses down to Germany and Taiwan to China who also puppet Korea. After the war Germany is the most powerful country and Wilhelm II achieved his place in the sun, but he would die a year later. Wilhelm III would become German Emperor. Things would however sour as in 1945 both Middle Africa and Indochina collapsed due to independence movements. Furthermore in 1951 Wilhelm III dies and his son Wilhelm III becomes emperor. He orders Admiral Eric Rader to make peace with Indochina in 1955. 
the Kingdom of Burma, Kingdom of Thailand, Kingdom of Malaysia, Kingdom of Cambodia, Kingdom of Laos and the Empire of Vietnam gain independence. In 1960 Paul von Leto Vorbeck is tasked to make peace in Africa. In the Treaty of Dar es Salaam many African countries gain independence and Germany only controls Southwest Africa which is mostly German. The Sahel Federation also decided to split UO peacefully. In that year the Warsaw Conference, it held. All German puppet states gain more autonomy, but keep their monarch. In Don August Wilhelm seeks to stabilize his realm but decreasing Russian nationalism for example by expanding nationalism of other groups, especially the Volga Germans Rodzivsky Grad got renamed to Wilhelmberg or Yekaterinodar to Kapodinistat. All German puppet states are still loyal to their master. In the following years a cold war between the United States of America and German Empire begins to take shape. Later the Republic of China becomes a third player. In 1944 Germany tests its first nuke in Namibia, and in the following years the USA, China, or USCO would also develop their own nukes. In 1953 Egypt overthrows its monarch and becomes a republic which sparks a war against the Ottomans. Egypt initially pushed into the Levant, but was beaten back. The Ottomans crossed the Suez, but were defeated in Cairo. The war freezes at the Suez with Germany negotiating a peace. Egypt gains independence, but the Ottoman Empire annexes the Sinai Peninsula. The Suez is controlled by Germany. A Somali-Ethiopian war breaks out and the Ottomans and Germans support Somalia which wins. They then annex the Ogaden. In Russia Kolchak restores the Russian Republic once again and with Kerensky once again as its first president. The Philippines are still controlled by the U.S. and could become the 53rd, 54th and 55th state. In Europe Middle Europa now includes France, Spain, Italy, Russia, the British Isles and Ottoman Empire. Only Norway, Switzerland, and the Russian Republic, are not part of it. Middle Europa renames itself to THR European Economic Sphere, or EES. The Empire of Vietnam would face a civil war against Republicans, but they lose thanks to heavy German help to the Emperor. Persia is a constitutional monarchy and so the monarch isn't despised, and thus an Islamist revolution wouldn't happen. Without any war in Afghanistan the nation is stable, and the monarchy could still be in charge. A Falklands war could still happen, but Argentina still loses to Germany under Reichskanzler Franz Josef Strauss. In 1990 Wilhelm IV dies and since he had no son he names his nephew George Friedrich to be his successor who is crowned as Frederick IV. In 1997 Germany hands over its Chinese concessions. Without the U.S. messing in the Middle East 9-11 wouldn't happen, and thus no war on terror. The Arab Spring could still happen. In this Arab Spring the Ottomans would face a second Arab revolt, but thanks to German support they managed to put down the rebellion. In 2011 Otto I dies after ruling for 89 years, by far the longest ruling monarch. His son Charles II becomes emperor. A third world war would be a three-way world war with Asia led by China on one side, Europe led by Germany on one side, and the Americas and Oceania led by the United States on the other. In this timeline Germany is a great power with a colonial empire that would stretch from West Africa to Oceania. It would replace the British Empire in the global perspective. They would dominate the world for most of the 20th century, but would face new rivals in Nanking and Washington. Monarchism is still strong around the world with many countries still ruled by a monarch, including almost all of Europe. On the other hand both communism and fascism are dead. THR only communist countries were the short-lived Soviet Union and People's Republic of India. Fascism on the other hand died in World War II. German is alongside English one of the two lost important languages as more people speak it. If you liked the episode, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.